What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another banger today guys on a very special vid man. Today's video is the review of the upcoming Jordan 12 reverse bread. <laughs> Today guys, we have the Jordan 12 Reverse Bread set to release this upcoming Saturday. Let me pull these guys up, because I need. I just want to have the whole box, the whole bangaroo, the whole skippity-doo. Alexa, when is Saturday? December 26th falls on Saturday. So the day after Christmas, my true love gave to me. You feel what I'm saying? Now that's backwards, isn't it? The day before Christmas or something like that? Yeah. But Jordan 12 Reverse Flu game, man. Set to release on the day after Christmas. Retail price point, $190. Personally, the materials, the cut, the craftsmanship for the most part, is quite good. I can't even lie. I'm pretty honest about that. You feel me? I'm pretty honest about pretty much any shoe I tell you guys. And for that reason, I'm going to be honest about this shoe and how I feel about it. I'm not too big about it. These look like the perfect shoes for Santa, bro. Like, Santa probably was rocking these this year. These are the perfect... Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho's. You feel me? All he needs is some jingle bells on here. He's good to go. Um, overall, the suede on the uppers are extremely nice, extremely smooth. Butterscotch pancake patty melts on the side panels here. The leather cut very well. Snakeskin nut sacks on that leather. Check him out. And for the most part, the cut is looking pretty good. The material, as far as the suede used, reminds me a lot of what we got with those gray or the smoke grays, whatever, the burgundy ones as well, the burgundy 12s, smoke gray 12s, or the dark gray 12s. I forgot the names or the cool gray 12s. We've, we've seen them before. They released probably like, what, two years ago? I remember actually reviewing them at my second apartment at the pool. Real dope shoe, man, you know, overall, but it's just not my cup of tea. I love the color red, I love the color black, I love black and red mixed together. We have here the actual original flu game on deck, you feel me? And uh, for the most part, they look like reverses, you feel me? I mean, check them out, yeah. Looks like reverses if you ask me. One of the main reasons why I'm not feeling this is because in general, like, I love the classics. I love the classics, I love the classics. I love when they mix things up. But for the most part, I love the classics. So when you get a classic shoe like the Flu Game and then flip it, we've seen it done already earlier this year. I think one of the, it's funny, the first shoe that released, the first Jordan that released this year, I believe, was the reverse He Got Games. And we're ending this year with the reverse Flu Game. Now I'm gonna check that one out. I'm gonna go and fact check that, right? But I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right with that. But I'm just not a big fan when it comes to the reverses, the reverse flu games, the reverse, um, what else, we, we had a couple of reverses. Reverse flu games, reverse Jordan 13, he got games. Reverse taxis, there's it. Um, the playoffs is technically, or the whichever one came first, the taxi or the playoff, they're, they're those are technically reverses. But for the most part, you know, they're OGs, they're classics. Now, there was an exception this year. And that was the alternate grape, the Jordan 5 alternate grape. It wasn't, was it, was it called the reverse grape? I can't remember, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was the alternate grape though, the Jordan 5 alternate grape. We've saw, we also seen with the alternate Bel Air. So we've had alternates, reverses, kick flips. I mean, we got all sorts of things going on when it comes to Jordan Brand and his colorways. But, you know, it's not the worst shoe ever. It's just something that I can pass on. I have enough black and reds, reds and blacks. The same thing, like I stated before, with the bread 13s and then the Hyper Royal 13s, the Jordan 1 Royals, the Jordan 1 breads. Well, those are classic models that I do love, so I can't really talk about those, but you get what I'm saying? The Sport Blue 3s, the Cement 3s. I've talked about this one before. Just the flippity flappity floopity floops, the flipper dippers when it comes to the colorways. So for that reasoning, that's kind of why. And then I think I explained that a little bit too much. The shoe itself comes with an extra pair of laces all rated out, you know what I'm saying? The colors are somewhat matching, but a little bit dark if you ask me. It matches more so the back here, that painting back there, and that even itself is kind of different colors um, of a red, you feel me? It does match, I guess you can say in some shape or form, 
the red that was, yeah, it does match like this red. And even this one has, the tones are just different. The tints are just different. The back, you got that 23 on the back with that branding. You already know what it is. The tongue. Mm. I can't lie though, man. The red that is using here is a nice red, a real nice, pure motorboat Jones red. That Jordan 9 motorboat, like that real just pure red. Varsity red slash black, size 9. Eight and a half, nine works fine with me when it comes to Jordan 12s in general. And you know, really can't ask for much different, man. As far as on the laces, you know, you got the little extra hints of black right there. They feel like they have some sort of metallic type of feel to them, some aluminum, metal, tin, whatever you want to call it. The Jumpman on here in black. Jumpman blacked out, you know what I'm saying? Flip around, shank, alligator, snake skin nuts, bottom, check them out, carbon fiber on deck and then the lacing you know what i'm saying typical typical i will say that like i said off the rip the suede that was used on the shoe is a one steak sauce real nice buttery suede the leather is good for the most part and the shoe itself checks out i can't really complain i can't really talk bad about the shoe itself the shoe itself is dope it's just something that i can i'm just gonna pass on so if you are kind of contemplating like yo I need to know the pictures don't do it justice. The pictures, I can't tell. If you like this shoe, based upon just pictures, you're gonna love this shoe in your hands. So know that you're good to go when it comes to this. Retail 190, the resale so far is looking to be around 210. And that's just because it's early. I honestly think that when it actually releases itself, it more than likely would probably just, you know, drop retail below retail. I don't see these like skyrocketing up in my opinion. I think they're just like a pretty decent general release. But in the sneaker world, you never know. You got that OG, you know, Nike style Jordan box. You know what I'm saying? It goes along with it and really can't complain. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on the Jordan 12 reverse food game. Are you copping them or not, man? Be beware before you buy the cop or not, whatever you want to call it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And you guys have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year's. I'm going to probably see y'all before then. Stay tuned. The sneaker collection video is dropping this upcoming Saturday. So enjoy, man. I love y'all. Y'all have a great, great Christmas, and I will see y'all on the next one. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.